25 years ago, the acclaimed winner of the June 12, 1993 election was served that controversial cup of tea, and that changed the course of history. Mashoud Kashima Wabiola died on this day in 1998 as Nigerians waited endlessly to see the end of the tragic incident which started in 1993 after the annulment of the election regarded as the freest and fairest in year. Nigeria's history. Mko Abiola died barely one month after the death of General Sonia Bacha, and some reports speculated that he was due to be released from detention the next day. For the five years after, activists believe the best way President Tinubu can honor MKO is to work to realize his vision for the country. Mko Abiola was awarded the National Honor Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic posthumously on the 6th of June 2018 by President Mohamedou Buhari. Veteran journalist Richard Akinola joins me now for more on this story. Um, 25 years after Mr. Akinola, will you say that Nigeria, um, to an extent, has gotten closer on the death of Chiva Biola? Well, I, I don't think so. Uh, because... Um, Despite all the various celebrations of June 12 every year, and of course uh, the uh, half-hearted uh, 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 celebration of uh, June 12 as Democracy Day, I think without the federal government formally declaring that result, which of course we all know and it's in public domain, we can't put a closure to it. So the result of I don't see has to be officially declared, even though many of us know the actual result. You, you know, you, if you recall that, I mean, the official result was um, uh, was taught midway through mm -hmm. court post, um, uh, court injunctions and various court orders, and before uh, the whole process was truncated by Abacha eventually. But I think the official result ought to be declared. Now, this Before is a tricky one. Think of anything else. Yes. Yeah. For posterity's sake, I'm just wondering, which of the versions of documentary history do you consider the closest to the truth as to the events leading to his death? Well, I published a book several years ago in respect of this same issue. And... Um, the submission of my own thoughts is that um, Abiola didn't die a natural death because um, he was supposed to have been uh, released. But if you recall the, uh, the uh, testimony of ASP Theodore Zadok, who was uh, uh, Abiola chief detail, when he was in detention, he actually enumerated all the various uh, uh, the various uh, incidents that happened before Abela, I mean, eventually died. So when there's this kind of conspiracy theory along that line, so I believe that Abela did not die a natural death. So there's a lot of talk about renewed hope and how President Tinubu's mantra. Uh, mimics um, Abiola's mantra from 1993. Uh, there's also a lot that the previous government has done. What do you think, President Tinubu, who you know, was a member of Nadeko himself, what burden of responsibility does he carry now and that you think he has to you know, do in the coming years? Well, I, I think the issue of true federalism, I mean, is inevitable uh, because... Uh, President Tinubu had always been um, an advocate of true federalism, and um, which, of course, one of the issues that uh, June 12 threw up. And don't forget again the uh, the Supreme Court case. I mean, initiated by uh, Lagos State Government when uh, Tinubu was the governor over the creation of uh, new local governments, and of course, even despite the Supreme Court decision, but it was not a complete process. So I now the 
the, the new president has every opportunity now to complete the whole process, whereby the National Assembly can complete the whole process of formally recognizing all the various local government development uh, areas, not only in Lagos, but in various states. And of course, the issue of true federalism is very critical. And of course, me, I, I, I support self-determination. I mean, that is, that is, uh, that is uh, uh, worldwide. But again, I don't, I don't believe in uh, uh, the way, I mean, a particular group is going about it. I believe, I mean, if you believe in self-determination, true federalism or confederacy by, by whatever name, we cannot, the National Assembly is there. And of course, I will call on President Tinobu that it should not be out of place if you recall the 2014 uh, National Conference. Mm. For whatever it is worth, let's get a committee to look at that report and particularly in, re in respect of self-determination, in respect of true federalism. And that's way which we can fight, I mean, really immortalize M.K. Abiola, that M.K. Abiola did not die in vain, even though we know that all the various conspiracy theories, I mean, surrounding his death. And don't forget again, the evidence of E.S.P. Zadok, where he said that uh, he was called out by the new CSO uh, to General Abu Salam Abu Bakr, and that even when he was in charge of MKO, that even ordinary water, that he had to taste the water before giving it to MKO. He included the ditto for food. But how come that uh, that's a, a tough flyer um, um, detainee and that could be given a cup of tea, mm. I mean, by, by visitors? Interesting, Mr. Akiola, that a quarter, of his mind, mind. a quarter of a century after, we still have many questions unanswered. But that's our time. Um, a journalist and lawyer is also the executive director of the Center for Free Speech Organization, Richard Akinola. Thank you for talking to us.